I uh, two and three years ago, I was going around the country, uh, takes a lot of uh, Amtrak uh, stops, and I found there are so many Chinese American organizations which are not connected with any other larger society, and they're hanging there in Kansas, Wichita, Kansas, here and there. Uh, it's just an amazing uh, community with all these thousands of groups there. So we, that's what we decided to do. Five program area. Uh, number one, civic engagement, and that's also the most important that we do. Political participation, celebrating heritage, youth health and mental health, and the last one is a greater understanding between U.S. and China. So we have this by mission. Um, our convention is uh, one of the most important platform that UCA does. Uh, in our existence of little over two years, we have had successfully two national convention. Uh, this is our second one. We just uh, we just get it down. Uh, about a month ago. Uh, this one, we have about 500 participants from 32 states. Uh, we fully envision our next one will have more participants and from across the country. Now, I want to also thank quickly uh, Winston and Ariane and uh, Winston for your big help. Without your help, this convention won't be the same. Thank you so much. And, Uh, that's our last one. Yeah, civic participation. You know, the, the thing we do there most, actually, at this point, what keeps us going is a civic leadership forum. We have done a few times, about five or six. We have a few coming up next year, and we expect a few more after that. Uh, we also kind of uh, gradually come to find some new, trying to find a new sweet spot or magic uh, formula uh, how to get the Chinese American uh, civic engaged, especially the first generation. I, I want to also add that the, all of this is done in a very, very uh, uh, tough, um, polarized, uh, politicized. The main end, and those of you are laughing, you, those of you must be in the WeChat where you know how tough UCA has been. Now, uh, I know all of you have done a great job, but none of you have uh, been in such a harsh, hostile environment as UCA has been. We're in the middle of that. It is so difficult. You know, Christian, you're laughing. You know, you know. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, and thank you for the support, too. Uh, so defending civil rights is something we, so we have done. Even a few months before UCA came into being, we started with the Sherry Chen case, which we really blew it up nationally, nationally, and especially on Capitol Hill with the KPAC. And later on, a few months later, uh, Xi Xiaoxing, uh, Professor Xi's case also came out. So that two defining cases where we are, have been doing all in the last two years and has really got, now everybody knows Sherry Chen and everybody uh, 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 take that as a very glorious cause. But uh, when we started out, it's pretty tough. And, whoa, my time is up, Lord, okay. Um, we have a, a specific project which our chairman, Xiao Yan, is leading, is called the Interactive Chinese um, American Heritage Map, where you, in, you can go to the, your computer and go to our website and just find any information you can about the rich history of Chinese American involvement in this country, or dynamic information. Uh, celebrating heritage, and uh, again, the new, the new Year is around the corner. What, you know, at UCA, we are a, a civic committed organization. We really think that uh, we are not just uh, voter registration, we are not just uh, political participation. We also trying to see how Chinese Americans can be energized in, in public service, but also in the way of life, the, our values, so that we may be able to have a chance to put the best of the East and the West together in our community. Uh, youth mental health is a big part of what we're doing. We have done successfully several ones. We're having one coming up in uh, Minneapolis in a few days. Yeah, as Kayla, yeah. Um, uh, youth volunteer and the committee service is a, 
something we do a lot, and the lady has done a lot in Chicago, leading the way for the rest of us. Uh, and we have some a little program in China called Teaching China. If you have kids with a college education, you can spend a half a year or one year in China. A huge change, I guarantee you that. Um, uh, this is our upcoming uh, this summer uh, future leaders program, training uh, the high school, the politically most active, um, motivated kids. Uh, that I'm going to get Michael's help a lot. Michael, I need your help. All right. So so far uh, we have uh, about seven chapters. We have uh, nearly 30 community partners. Some of these uh, partners have uh, over a thousand members in in their community. So we are there. We are just two year old. We're still struggling with uh, what exactly should be our focus. Um, and how exactly we can really get the Chinese American civically engaged. Let me end this with a quick story. I was in the phone with Anthony yesterday, told him that there is a kid, 28 year old, called Ray Xu, last name XU, from Kansas City. His district is kind of liberal. So this election, uh, there, there's a, this is not partisan, but there's a Incumbent is a Republican state representative, been there for many years. So his, this election somehow he's, he's running unopposed. So this kid saying, how can that be? I, I, I'm going to run. So he never was involved in politics. So 28 year old, and then he decided to run and very late into the game. You know what? He got elected, right? He got elected by a few hundred votes. And he's the first Asian American and Chinese American elected official in the state of Kansas. We should bring him here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And